Guess what? I think my thing is <laughs> fried. Where do we get a new one? I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to do this and then do this. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. It is so good to have you here. Happy, is it Friday? It's Friday. Happy Friday. We are going to be working on some decoupage with some aged paper posters. And we are going to be doing some overpainting on those posters. So I'm happy that you're here with us. And I hope you're inspired. I'm Lynn from L&J Goods. And we are here in Medina, New York. We have a little brick and mortar shop. And um, we're about halfway between Buffalo and Rochester. We've had lots of pop-ins the past few weeks, Megan, that have seen us on YouTube. So if you're watching now, you are watching either on YouTube or on Facebook or on our website. And Megan's doing a little collection list. And I think we're just going to get into it get and into it. show you what I'm going to be working on today. So, um, yeah, these are... Um, Aged, aged posters. Aged posters. And we have several different ones. So I'm going to be working on a small still life for today. And then we have this beautiful piece. This was actually one that we did a reverse transfer process and did lots of overpainting in a, in a private Facebook group. And that was so much fun. We... We took, um, we took somebody else's artwork and then I showed everybody how to embellish it and how to easily blend and how to match colors and all of that. So um, this is a really, really great class to look at if that's something you're interested in. But today we're gonna take it down to something really basic and um, I'm working on a small still life. So let me, click that down. Sorry, I'm going to have to be up and down. I haven't done that in a while. I'm going to have to find out from Lee, like, how do I do this to set this up? <laughs> or do it, so it's broken completely now or can yeah. we get a new one and that will make it better? Yeah, we have to get a new one. So uh, it melted. This is one of the dangers of being with me and heat guns and all of that stuff. What so. did you melt before? Oh, we were, oh those ornaments. Oh, the ornaments. Remember. Oh, yes. Remember. Let me clean up all my brushes. And Megan, say hi to some folks. Okay. Lots of friends on Facebook. Mary Jo was the first one here. <gasps> Mary Jo. Laura Hall, Shannon, Sandy, Mary Casey. Mary Casey, six people in. I'm shocked to see that. Wow, Mary Tracy, Casey. Tracy, Karen, Wendy, Al's here. Judy, Nina, Julie, Lori. Danielle, Tommy, happy 2024 to you, Tommy. Oh, you guys are just awesome. Hey, look at this. And what makes this so different from a typical paper that we used? That we use. It's not a rice paper. It's not a tissue paper. It's not a Monahan paper. These are really thick, um, kind of aged. They're already kind of crinkled up and thicker papers. And they, they do have a little backing around the edge to give them some stability. But uh, if you followed us for a long time, you may have noticed, actually you have that dresser at home, Megan, that I mm -hmm. I actually used a really beautiful one on the whole front of a dresser. It was so pretty. But um, I have used these in many different ways. We have a nice selection of them in the shop right now and on our website. But we're, we're gonna work on this little abstract-ish um, uh, still life. And I'm going to show you some very basic techniques to add to this. And uh, so you don't have to be scared, okay? You don't have to worry about the bottle. We don't need, we're just going to do some circles and we're going to make them look like fruit, all right? I think these might be supposed to be strawberries. What do you think? Do um, they peaches maybe? Or I don't know. They're kind of like long. A stone fruit maybe? I, I'm Mangoes? Not, I, well, look at, see the top here that's kind of like a strawberry-ish top? Persimmons have a top like that. Oh my goodness. Well, we I think we might make them strawberries. All right. So because this is a very thick paper, I want to use a decoupage medium that's got a little bit of meat to it. And so my decoupage medium du jour is 
Infusions Decoupage and Transfer Gel. And I want to get a nice good coat of this on here. My paper is bigger than the Masonite background, but that's okay. And I am so generous with this whole application. Um, because it's a thicker paper, I, and I'm going to use a brayer, so I want some of this to squeeze out um, the sides of the paper, and that way I know I've got enough. Megan and I are getting ready for our trip to Dallas. I've done not one thing to get ready. Not you haven't? <laughs> So I'm just gonna I'm gonna just press it into place a little bit right now and with these wrinkles it can have the tendency to stretch a little bit but I, I don't mind that and I also don't mind if this is still wrinkly to me it really does give the appearance of an old canvas painting All right, Tracy said, I'm still adding touches to my reverse transfer piece. Nice to be able to keep adding to it as I have courage and confidence. Oh, that's with an great. Eye. Tracy, did you, you enjoy that class? That, I just thought that that was like such a cool way to learn how to, um, just to get a little more confident with your painting skills. Yeah. That class is, is that still up? I I wonder. I can find out. You can find out because we've got we've got the posters and the poster. This poster is included in the price of the class. It's up as a draft. I can make it after. Yeah, you can. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I give you honestly, I give you like the the whole like um, color list so that you just know exactly what to use and yeah. Easy peasy. What I will do is take this DIY paint kit off of the options. Because <laughs> I am not making another $11, no, $2 ounce No, paint we're not. <laughs> we'll, we'll just make sure that we save that list. Yes. Right? Okay. All right. So here we go. When I'm decoupaging, I really do want to be mindful that I want to go back, peel my paper back to into that wet edge, that wet area, so that I don't have a line of bubbles there. But you can see how this kind of wrinkles a little bit as it gets wet and as I brayer it out, but I'm, I'm good with that. I'm, I'm totally okay. I can kind of manipulate this a little bit. Taylor Morgan is here on YouTube. It's her first live ever. Welcome. Hey, Taylor. Starting off the new year. Awesome. We have gotten a lot of new followers on YouTube and that is really awesome. I always direct people there because um, I think it's easier to find easier to content. Do. Yeah, it really is than going through an entire list on YouTube. Let me find, I'm going to find the name of that poster for you, Nina. Okay. Uh, yes, it is Dallas market time. We are leaving Monday night, right? Yeah, we are. Of course, we'll take you along on the journey. I'm trying to figure out, solve the mystery of what that poster behind you is called. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'll show you that one a little bit later. I can remember so many years ago doing one of those reverse techniques on a big barn door. And Sally Shepard watched way back then. And she was one of those that was just so intrigued. But I, I just remember Sally like doing, wanting to do that. And, mm -hmm. and she was really excited about all of that technique. The one behind mom is called pink roses in blue vase. And it's big, you guys. Like I would totally hang that right up as a piece of artwork. 
right, if I have any that's not sticking right now, I'm gonna actually do this and weight that down on the corners because it's wanting to curl a little bit. I don't know if we're in the path of the snowstorm. I mean, I feel like we always are, so I'm always ready to be it's in the snowstorm. It's more to the east and south of us. Those nor'easters tend to come up the coast, and then, um, yeah, we're kind of in a funky area. But no, it doesn't look like we might get an inch or two of snow, but um, not like along the coastline. The Atlantic coast, I should say, not the lake coast. <laughs> and I'm just going to keep Stephanie's painting one of the mason jars she's covering with the dewdrop pond and toadstool molds. Nice. They're so detailed. I got the hummingbird on without bending or breaking the beak. Yay! Good for you. That is quite an achievement. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is in the path of the snowstorm. Yes, I figured our Massachusetts friends would be. All right, so this is going to take a, a minute to dry, but I'm going to go ahead and start working on it. And I just pulled out some DIY paint colors and some painterly, and I'm just going to mix a little bit as we go and uh, make a decision about what I'm going to do with these particular fruits. I think I'm going to make them into more strawberry-ish. I think they're strawberries. Yeah, yeah. I've seen so, yellow strawberries more. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they're they're beautiful. They are. But, but so today the lesson is really going to be about um, a light source, like where the light source is coming from and how to do a very simple base color, shading and highlighting on a particular object. All right, so um, I have just a little white pencil that I have here somewhere that I'm going to draw out, sketch out some new shapes here and add to this. I, I feel like this is a little bit boring. No offense to the original artist, whoever that is, but I just feel like I want to add a little something more. So I'm just kind of sketching out a circle here. And guess what, you guys? Look at the shapes of these and look at how abstract and and well, impressionist, I should say, how impressionist this piece is. It's it is um, expressionism. It's 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 not a realistic painting yes. of a still life, and so because of that, I think it gives us a lot of leeway into um, what we're going to do with it. And I think I want to add another rounder object here and we'll make it let's see what is a nice round fruit we can make it an orange I like the idea of orange and strawberries and guess what then we got ourselves a nice smoothie delicious a delicious smoothie and I am out of my um are you really out of I'm out of my disposable palette so I've got a yeah I got a Get some more. Watch Lynn. Spatter orange crush. I'm sure you're out of them and we can't, they're not just lost. Do you remember taking the last sheet off? Oh yeah. Yeah, a few times. All right, this is Summer Crush. I chose this instead of Firestarter because I wanted something a little more dull. See the colors in this? They're not very bright at all. So I have Summer Crush, um, and but I do want to brighten it just a little bit. Hey, Patrice. So let's add, I'm just trying this, you guys. I have never, this is not something that I've done on a weekly basis and done over and over again. So I'm just playing. I'm going to grab some Glow Up. What was the first color you used? Summer Crush, and uh, I put I out Old that. Flame. I okay. I don't know what's going to happen if I add a little bit of that. We might end up with a peach instead of an orange. I don't know. Yeah, that look at that brings that just makes it a little more orange without. 
Those are so, those paints are very cool. They're beautiful. It makes it a little more orange without being like a bright, bright orange. That is magical. Isn't that so pretty? I can see what Debbie means. Yeah. They are made to it's just like peanut butter up. and jelly. Mm -hmm. That was very cool to watch. Hey, isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, love that. All right, so let me take a bigger brush. And again, I just grabbed brushes. They're nothing special. And I am going to paint right over this strawberry. And I'm going to give myself an orange shape. Or a basketball. I'm choosing an orange because <laughs> I don't want to have to add like a leaf to it right now. That is kind of a perfect basketball color. It, is it? <laughs> oh, jeez. So what? An orange can be the color of a basketball. That's right. I guess it can be. All right. So there we go. There's an orange. But look at how much it's beginning to change this whole uh, composition. And then I'm going to put one down here on the table. I love painting over paintings because I think it really helps you then to follow the line if you're if you're a little uncomfortable with sketching or whatever. Maybe you can't draw a perfect circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Or you just take like take this and trace around it. You know. Also, an orange or a peach would not be a perfect circle. You're right. Tracy says a peach would be more seasonally appropriate than an orange with the strawberries and would also be great in a smoothie. And I agree with her. You know what? You're really you're right. So is this peachy enough? Yeah, but you could add some little highlights to make it peachier. We sure can. Well, it's going to be a mystery fruit, just like these are. How about that? Yeah. Okay. All right. And so let me grab another little palette here, and I want to start making these more into strawberries. Well, actually, no. Let me let me go ahead and finish working on these. How about that? Um, for my shading, I'm going to just use a little weathered wood mixed in with that orange color. So I'll put a, a little spot of that, and I already have a little bit of glow up. Oh my gosh. It always makes me nervous when these don't, the FIFOs don't, um, immediately start. Yes, because you don't what could explode. possibly happen. Yes. Oh, yep. There you go. All right, so you could also use a little bit of liquid sunshine, you know? It's it's your choice. You could make that into a big bowl of spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I could. I could make it into anything, really. A big bowl of Cheerios. So Stephanie said the oranges are trying to escape rolling off the table like the meatballs in that song. On top of. <laughs> and suddenly this is a big thing of Parmesan cheese. <laughs> See, but that's or a what bottle I said. of wine. That's what I'm saying, girls. You can turn this into anything you want. Yes. <laughs> Although it looks more like a milk container. I don't know. I think we'll make it olive oil. Make it a bottle of oil. A bottle of wine. All right. Well, I'm not going to do that, but this time. All right. I'm dipping a corner into that weathered wood, and because my light source is coming from this way, you can kind of see where is the light part of the bottle. It's here. This is the dark part of the bottle. Light part of the fruit, dark part of the fruit. See that? Light part of the fruit, dark part of the fruit. So that means I want my orange or my peach or whatever it is to be light part, dark part over on that right hand side. Tracy said, hey, it's impressionist art. It's not that it looks like a peach. It's how you feel about the peach. That's exactly right. Okay. So let me get a little bit of this. Yes, it looks messy right now, but it's okay. And I'm going to get a new brush out. I'm just going to start blending, kind of blending into that a little bit. But I'm doing, these are real choppy strokes, so it allows me to use some very choppy strokes. See how that, now it just kind of blended right in. And from a distance, you guys, when you squint your eyes, or even up close, if you squint your eyes at this, you can really see that dark and light. 
So here you go. This is a basic, very basic round shape that's going to have highlighting and shadow. This could be a Christmas tree ornament. It could be um, a basketball. It could be <laughs> a any, any a meatball, any round object that you like. I'm rewatching The Sopranos and Mom's watching it for the first time, so <laughs> that's why I have meatballs on the brain. <laughs> and what did I that's get? JR and I went picking the other day. We stopped at this little local restaurant. What did I get? I got a meatball hoagie. Yeah. <laughs> and they were good homemade meatballs, too. All right. That's very hard to find. It think, really is. Especially around here. So I'm just continuing to dip into that orange paint and over painting a little bit and just look I'm literally just making choppy strokes see what I'm brightening I probably didn't need to use as much of the weathered wood and remember that any WCIY paint as it dries it is going to uh, be a little bit lighter. It won't show its true pigment again until we add uh, a top coat over it. But yeah, see, I like that. I love painting like this. Oh, I love it. All right, so let me get a little touch of this glow up and see what happens. And I'm just using my same paintbrush that's got the orange in it. Oh, let's look at that. See? Look how pretty. And I'll get a little bit over here. Hi, Leah. Hi, Cancer. Okay, so can you see the different variations? We have, um, we have uh, this light going into medium light going into medium going into dark and I can how that has transformed it really has isn't that something what kind of fruit do you see in that bowl Leah <sighs> oranges do you see fruit <laughs> oranges strawberries strawberries yes, yes. all right I Leah. really need my sound machine back I know Melissa says hi Leah hey so we're going to use some marquee and let's, um, I'm just going to make sure that these are more strawberry-ish. Okay. I mean, look at that weird looking strawberry right there. That is weird. So I might change the shape of that. Some of those, stra bit. some strawberries look weird. They do. You're right. Especially, um, out of season. <laughs> like I give Henry strawberries almost every morning for breakfast and it's like sometimes they're so huge that there's like five strawberries in the container uh-huh and sometimes they're little and there's 20 all in the same size container and some of them have lumps yes lumps and bun you barely see them where they're shaped like a picture of a strawberry yeah one year jr got me as a special surprise because I, I probably would see the commercials and say, oh, these look so good to me. The Sherry's Berries. Oh, yeah. And when I want to tell you. Were they really good? They were so good. But I told them, don't you ever spend $60 <laughs> on a little box yeah. of strawberries like that again. <laughs> but they were great, huh? Oh, they were so good. I agree. A little blush would be nice on that peach. Oh, will? Yep. Oh, I thought we were doing oranges. Well, I thought we said the peaches would be more seasonably, seasonably okay. appropriate. All right. You got it, you guys. <laughs> Listen, I'm not done yet. Remember, the artist isn't done until she's done. Right? Indeed. All right. Look, now we've got strawberries, actual strawberries in that bowlish kind of thing. And I'm going to touch just a little bit of that yellow on there just to kind of lighten that a little. Let's see what happens. And I, I'll come in with some white later on too to really pop some of this. Those painterly paints are cool. They're really cool. And again, you can see how kind of randomly 
I am adding this color. It's it's I love it. It's very random. All right, so who says a little peach? A little Tracy. peach fuzz. Okay, let's. Okay, now I'm gonna. I want to see like pinky. Yeah, but it'll it'll get there. That's the cool thing about. It has to become not orange first. Yeah, true. <laughs> right. But an orange was a good undercoat because if you look at, you know, peaches, they do have that orangey because you're saying like you want to see some coral in there. Well, sure, because um, that is uh, it has orange in it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. A donut peach is more white and pink. They are. Yeah. But that's not Let's what we're doing here. Let's pink here. So a little pink would be great. Yeah. Just a little a bit of um but i always poetic think. pink which is kind of a peachy pink anyway look how bright Woo! but by the time you blend it over the others mm -hmm. it loses that mm -hmm. hot pink yeah yeah it does it really does awesome. it is really cool does now that got, look now a little more peachy oh great <laughs> It's a mystery <laughs> fruit. She's so bad. It's like, pretty, whatever it is. Actually, think... that does, like, when I'm looking at it here, Yeah, it is looking like a peach. Yeah. yeah. And just like a very nice, bright peach. Yeah, just remember that we um, we are not doing a realistic. Right, it's about how you feel about the peach. That's right. Some of you maybe don't like peaches. I like them when the juice is running down. Yeah. Oh, me too. Oh, oh, my gosh. I mean, and again, I can lighten this up. Let's add a little bit of, I just have a titanium white here. I didn't grab any Debbie's, but it's okay. All of our paints play nicely together. And there is your more peachy color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Megan? Yeah. Yes. Now we're in the donut peach territory. Oh, is it too red? No, you just, it's okay. All peaches are different. I'm missing the It's an entry, says Melissa. I'm missing the contrast. Yeah, and add more orange. But see, that's how we do, we can go back and forth. As long as you're not mixing opposite colors, if you're staying side by side on the color wheel, you can blend these colors without making mud. And then you have a rotten peach. Yeah. I think that's the hardest part when I do crafts with the kids mm. is getting them to like either let it dry or don't put those two together because you yes. get mud. Yep. And then they cry because yeah, it's mud. Because they got mud. Or poop. I said, hate to say that, but I told you so. Yeah. <laughs> I love to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when they're only seven and nine, yeah, it's a they little don't tougher want, they don't to say, hear it. I told you so. I told you not to do that. Sherry said, I'm just catching up, but it could be peppers. <laughs> what you can the wrong shape for peppers. It's going to be sorry. whatever, doggone it, whatever you want it to be. <laughs> it's a fruit bowl. I'm going to give it just a little bit of shading around the outside edge also. Tracy said it makes her think of the red Indian maiden peaches I get in August from my favorite. Thank you, Tracy. Shop. Beautiful. Okay, and let's take a little bit of this dark kind of bring that and let's shade a little bit under here you know when I'm painting I do like to whatever color I'm using I like to then add it to other places that's so a good tip. Hmm? that's a good tip it is and that way it makes it more cohesive yeah so we'll add a little bit of that peachy color into the shadow here. Um, we can add some of our color up into here. That's cool. Linda said, I can't wait to try this. Maybe I can be a make-believe artist. You can be. But look, just bringing a little bit of that color that I'm using into... It really does make it very accessible. Yeah, it does. 
I'm bring I'm just giving it a little more depth too by bringing my color onto other parts of the painting. And guess what? Because I'm using WCIY, if it's too much, I can always just soften it. Take a little baby wipe and soften it down. A hundred of these people watching could take the same poster and it would the same colors for everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it would look completely it's different. Really I true. love that. Yep. So let's add a little bit of shading to our berries. And again, I've got the same colors on my brush, and it's okay. I'm not going to overly blend. I'm not doing anything with those leaves either. You're leafing them alone. I'm just leafing them alone. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I know. We have, we have a couple overlaps, an overlapping strawberry here, and so... But honestly, you guys, if you do that squint thing that I told you about, like squint a little bit or squint when you're looking and if, and you should be able to really see those dark shadows. If you're not seeing it, you need to add more dark. Yeah, that's a good tip too. It is amazing how it just gives so much depth yeah, to it. It really does. It now is not a flat. Yes. Yeah. It was very flat before, I think. You're right. Okay. I can I can put a little bit of depth here inside my bowl because I think it needs it. Melissa did a sound effect for me. She said, but I'm done. <laughs> Will you please get a new sound machine? She said, I know, I need to. What I really do. do. Nobody knows. It just disappeared one day. It's just it's gone. very suspicious. Mm -hmm. I, I think I would be too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Chance, would you do it? Mm. Let's get a little bit of darkness under this peach here. I mean, you guys, seriously, look, I am not, I am being a pretend artist here. I really am. Okay, now let's add a little bit of highlight to this pretty, all this pretty stuff. Usually when I switch over to my highlight, I do get a, a cleaner brush. Not today. Oh no, yeah. she got a different brush. Oh, she did, okay. So the light is all gonna come from this direction. Does anybody have any Dallas food recommendations for us? I Girl, found some you, things on Google. You found so much. Yeah, but Dallas? it's just Google. Yeah, it's just Google. I like to hear from a person to tell me what I need <sighs> you to You know eat. I'm getting serious when i got to get my fingers That looks up. great, though. Really great. And because, like, my light source is coming this way, like, this, this peach is a little bit... Um, this is darker than, or this is lighter than this one. Those look really, really like peaches now. Really well. Good. I gotta put some kind of a stem hole, and I don't even have a peach to refer to. Maybe it's on the back side, or you gotta kind of make it look like it's. Well, I can show you a peach emoji. Well, how about on your phone? Do you have a picture of a peach on your phone? I guess if I could get an emoji, I could get a picture of a. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you could. I recall. It's, it looks like it's buns, almost kind of. A little oval. The stem end thing is it's pointy on one and then oval where the yeah. branch is. Yeah. That's kind of what she's looking for. Can yeah. you? Let me see that. I think. Really, all I need is just a little. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. Megan's showing me a picture of a peach. Uh, maybe we'll. I'm showing you a picture of a canvas of a picture of a peach. <laughs> so I'm going to do, do like this. And then over here, maybe I'll put it down toward the bottom. 
But we also have that little cleavage on a peach. Hey, Deborah. Right? Mm hmm So now I've gotten myself into a whole other territory. You didn't peach, want me to keep holding this up? Cleavage. Mm -mm. Yeah, cleavage. cleavage. That's exactly right. <laughs> No, but I'll just add a little highlight there. Oh, it's gone. Do you need it, Mom? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just going to make it. Deborah said the peach on the right actually looks fuzzy. It does. Um, all right. So now I got to, I'm going to lighten up along here because it, it raises up and it, and it it creates that little, you know, the, the, the peach bud. Yeah. We gotta make a peach bud. Jeez, those are really good, Mom. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and there's also maybe a little yellow um, in that peach. So I gotta get a, just a touch more of the glow. Oops. <laughs> yep, there we go. Touch more glow up. Great. That's what makes it that peachy sunlight. There, I think we got ourselves a peach, a couple of peaches. Love it. Yeah, if I look from a distance, mm -hmm. it definitely looks like. water. Mm -hmm. What do we think? Yeah. All right. So what's the other thing that strawberries need to make them look like strawberries, you guys? <laughs> Brush. Oops. Now this fell over. So we'll just go ahead and use the same. Yep. And did anyone do anything exciting for the new year? For New Year's Eve? I read a whole novel. All in one night? Yeah. Whoa. I was just being a slug. So that sounds just, awesome. I opened a bottle of Prosecco, <laughs> drank it, and read a novel. Oh, Sweet. that is that sounds like a great night. It was. And that you could keep your focus after the bottle of Prosecco. <laughs> yeah. wow. That's impressive. I sipped slowly. You sure you didn't skip a end. few uh, mm -hmm. chapters? <laughs> and it was a no-brain novel, too. It That's wasn't good. Just, just mindless. Like, oh, I love that. Does that look more like strawberries now? Uh-huh. Cool. All right. I think it's probably done. So you'll have to seal this with something, I'm right? I'm going to seal yeah. it, and that'll bring those colors more vibrant. Mm -hmm. um, let's trim away the excess right now. And heat this a little bit or not. Shannon got her smell back after two years of not having it. Did you lose oh, it from COVID? from COVID? Wow. Laura said you're her kind of girl. <laughs> <laughs> that really just sounds wonderful. Doesn't it? Oh my like, gosh. I love that. Do you want to go out? No. no. Don't want to go out. I actually 
did go out this year, but I typically do not like to go out. And that was enough for the next 10 years, I think. <laughs> I know, right? I'm going to wipe this. We used to go out with a whole group of people out yeah. for dinner. So for them to be just such a hassle. Oh. No. no I don't do well, and do you, you just... We're getting old. It's old. I mean, even when I was young, I didn't really... Although, I've had children since I was young. <laughs> Shanna, it was from COVID. She got her taste and smell back after two years. Oh, wow. Amazing. All right. I'm going to show you the frame that I have um, already pre-painted for this. Then I'm going to show you some decoupage papers. And then you can seal it. I hope. If it dries, yeah. I'm seal it. it wouldn't be Friday if I didn't leave with paint on me. Nope. <laughs> it's right. You've been so clean the past few Fridays. Yes. <laughs> no paint on my hands on Friday. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's my that, and we'll take these, and so I don't spill those, which I certainly would if that was staying on here. All right, let's add this frame. Over top. What color is that frame? It's, I don't know. It kind of like bled through a little bit. Yeah, the color, but it's so pretty, isn't it? There it is, you guys. Lovely. Love it. Isn't that great? Like, I think that looks so much more interesting now. Yes. Right? Don't you think so? Mm hmm. All right, let me see if I can dry this. Well, actually, you know what? Let me put this aside. This actually needs another coat of paint over it, so it would be. It'll we'll be just let that here. painting dry a little bit while you're showing yep, the papers. Yep, going to. All right. So she's going to show the new decoupage papers instead just some of. some of them that we just got in. Instead of me adding them all to the collection for today, the best way to find them is go to the, the rice paper category and then. You can filter them, just do from newest to oldest, and then all of the new ones will rise to the top. The cream rises to the top. Well, I think some of the old ones are wonderful, too. They are. And do you know that today I also placed, I forwarded it to you, I placed another order for oh, I need to add many it. more, I'm gonna um, do it. many more uh, decoupage papers for Easter. Re some are restock and some are ones that we haven't had before. From decoupage queen? Yep. Okay, but we're not showing those today. No. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. Oh, can you tell I was just in the mood for pretty stuff? These are pretty. They're very pretty. I love this bird. This bird is everything right here. Even if those ladies are not, I, I might even like switch that out for something different. That little lady, you know? Leah's looking oh, at no. it almost with contempt and disgust. No, I couldn't see it because you were holding it kind of no. like this. <laughs> no, Leah, Leah's not paint. crazy about paint, right? No. I did get these, and oh my goodness, they're just so, I just think they're so pretty, you guys. They're beautiful. Can you imagine just doing a set of these for a little girl's room? All you got to do is decoupage them and frame them, and they're just beautiful. I just think they're so pretty. They're ballerinas. And maybe this is a, a floating lady. And then this one is a ballerina with a beautiful crown on her head. My little girls are into hockey. Would they love that? No. Hockey? No. Oh, no, no. Boxing? Mm -mm. No. They're not, they're not the little ballerinas. <laughs> we have a few different uh, bicycles. And these are in both sizes, I believe. Yes. Very cute. Very cute. The This one is only an A4. But it's, I ordered it. Also. You ordered 10 more A4. I did not. Yep. 
Okay, now can you guys try it? <clears throat> All right. <laughs> oh, wait, we have another fairy. We have, these are fairies. Oh, are they the same ones? Or no. No, these are different. Because these, these are, are ballerinas. These are, are fairy fairies. girls. But look how pretty they are. They're so pretty. They are cute. We've got a lot of fairies. Fairies and pink. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> And those are the fairies. We've got a little Mr. Bunny, Nancy Spring Bunny. That's cute. We have this, these two beautiful florals. <laughs> the, this is coming in an A4 also. Um, we'll get all this. That is A4 right there. You did get some A3. And I got A3 and I got these in an A4. Yes. Also. Yes. Beautiful. This is beautiful. This is like hand paint. Looks I hand like painted, a lot. right? Yeah. And I love this one. And I was telling Megan, I thought, like, this one and then this one in the A4, smaller size, would be so pretty um, on a panel and then put a uh, fine line crackle over it. It'd be so, so pretty. Oh, Leah. <laughs> You're just Look at all this Look pink. at all that pink. <laughs> We're in the mood for Valentine's Day, and we've got some beautiful Monaghan papers that are due to arrive, I think, Monday. Hopefully I can show you those. These music notes and little couples and romance and flowers and just prettiness. Just prettiness all the way around. These are beautiful. Oh, here's some more. The Faithful Lover, Advice to the Unwary. <laughs> <laughs> these are pretty so pretty and we have four owl scenes because even though they're wintry i could not resist these they're so neat there's another one too and it's really pretty too they're beautiful i love like look at these guys this is a neat little set yeah we have a blue lace that's a pretty background it's actual like like antique lace overlay. These are some pretty winter deer, mom and baby. I think that's really pretty. Yep. And then we have some more of these bicycles and um, yeah, beautiful. Just so pretty. Really pretty. Anyway, so that's all I got for you today. That's it. Also got and maybe you'll seal that other. Yeah. And we got. This is the other poster that we, you can use it just like this, or you could do the class, which is the reverse decoupage um, workshop, and um, learn how to paint over this piece here and blend it. And this is a class thing. This was the last year. I don't know if you took that I don't one. remember if you did that. It was like the reverse decoupage. No, I don't think I did. Yeah. All right, so let me get my this bit here, and Megan, would you mind getting me maybe just? Oh, actually, I have some mat silver right here. I just want to make sure that this is dry. Pantone color of the year, peach fuzz. You know what? It is. is I it really? I, yeah, I read that. Mm hmm. Oh, I know, Leah. You know me. Well, the weird thing is, is that I don't see. They were big scissors. It's not like they, they were, were little snaps. Yeah. Oh, right here. Right here. Whoever wants to know, do you know when IOD will be releasing the spring-summer items? Oh. The launch has already released their 2024 papers. Hey, Deb. I think they're coming. Yes, those are decoupage queen, Melissa. I think they are coming. Let's see. Do I hear? Soon. <laughs> as specific as it's going to get. Before spring. Yes, absolutely. It's definitely wet on the Mm-hmm. And so let's talk about the IOD new release coming. Um, 
it will include some inlays, I'm pretty sure. And I know that there has been some confusion about that. Um, there's been some confusion about IODs, like what, what's the situation with IOD and their, um, the inlays. Um, the situation is they will continue making inlays, but they will become a limited release uh, product. So we'll get inlays with each release, or that's what I'm assuming with each release, but they are limited and that means once they're gone, they're gone. And I think I like that. I really do like that. Um, mm -hmm. That said, um, if you love inlays, anything that is available now is going to, is done. Like they will not reproduce it again. And that the, when they're gone, they're gone. Like we can only get yeah. them, get more of them for so long. Yep. Yeah. Still not on the inlay. Right. I know. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see that dresser that uh, Von Wu did? That was mm -hmm. so beautiful. Nice. That was beautiful. And I have never, I haven't used that Annie Sloan limited one yet. Yeah, you did? Mm -hmm. Not the Annie oh, Sloan the Annie one. S no. The with the cameo? Yeah. Oh, somebody did something cool. Oh my gosh. Von Wu did. Oh, no. It was really, really neat. Oh, I've been wanting to see somebody do something. Uh, I'll, cool. I'll show you the picture. It was cool. So, um,. You know, I love inlays. I I love inlays so much. Um, I love using them. I love the effect that they give. And so I'm, for one, very glad that we are going to still see them from IOD because I love using them. Uh, best top coat brush ever, or zebra top coat brush. All right, let me switch this down again. And here we go. I'm just going to use some Funkature because it's out. Yes, those are new decoupage papers, Marla. I was saying that the best way to find them is to just go to that rice paper category. Is that what it's called, rice papers? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, go to the filter, filter them from newest to oldest, and then all the new ones will come up to the top. Uh, Elizabeth asks, can we use canvas instead of wood backing? Absolutely. You sure can. Now, if you are using canvas, just remember this, Elizabeth. This particular paper is thicker. And so you want to really make sure that you've got a way to adhere it and have it really stick to your canvas. Because canvas is flexible. This is, I'm putting this on a solid surface, so it enables me to brayer it and really press that paper into the, the surface. That might be a little more challenging with a canvas. But to me, when this is done, dang, it looks like it's a canvas. It really does. Well, you look know? At, I love when you seal over that paint. Mm -hmm. It's so Doesn't cool. Just give it that. Look at that mm, all amazing. of a sudden. Yeah. Isn't that pretty, you guys? And I'm looking at it sideways. So that. I make sure that I've got everything. And I think I do. So pretty. Yeah, I think a lot of people were unsure right. what to do Just with that corner. Annie Sloan inlay, so I'm excited to know that There's people are finding right some cool stuff okay. to do with it. <clears throat> it was just so opposite of the Debbie's one that I came know, out at the same I know, time. I, really I think was. that made it tough, you know, so much color and then the opposite. Yeah, for sure. I hear you, Debbie. It is hard. Um She's just saying, like, she wishes the IOD was out sooner because she's oh, already know. starting spring, yes. Yes, I know. That I understand. Hard. I understand. This, you can know, though, think about this. With IOD, they typically, other than their holiday release, they really aren't that specific to spring, Season. yeah. seasonal, yeah. all right? So you can be assured that anything that they give us is something that you will use throughout the year. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, but look at that. Look how pretty. And I want you to see all the texture in that paper. 
See the wrinkles? We're good. We're good with that. That's what makes it look almost like a really old canvas yeah. painting and just so much good built-in texture but what a great way to um, try your hand at um, doing a little bit of simple paint blending so there it is I gotta get up again it's really pretty and thank you thank you guys um, I'm gonna get it framed up and give you a beauty shot but until then look at that oh my gosh is that pretty Oh, I love it. Megan, I'm trying to do thumbnail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful. It's beautiful. I love it. All right. So we will be here Monday live. We're going to be live on Monday. And um, I did send a little text to the text group, which ta -da, is here's the number for the text group. You can also find that in the description below on YouTube, and I'll make it the pinned comment on Facebook. You just text the word hi, and then instructions will follow. It's just a great way to keep in touch with us. We will not spam you or overwhelm you. You can also ask questions there. Yes, and uh, to the text group today, I we're, we're kind of playing around with some different ideas for our content. Um, for this year and somebody one of our viewers uh, gave us a great idea um, and so I texted the text group about sending us some pictures of your projects and any questions you may have about them how to finish them what would my thoughts be what should you do with XYZ and uh, we will choose some of those to maybe work on a project that would be similar to that and uh, we'll show that live. And others, will we're just going to keep, um, we're going to keep a, a, a little stockpile of those uh, images and questions so that we can share our thoughts with you um, about how to, yeah, how we're going to transform those viewer pieces. All right. Okay. So that's it. We will see you guys on Monday. Have a lovely rest of your day. While you're here, don't forget, we would love it if you would like, subscribe, share, comment, give us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs down, give us a oh, wow if you want to. <laughs> Whatever it takes, we always appreciate any kind of interaction from you, either on Facebook or on YouTube. And with that, we're going to say farewell. See ya. See you Monday. Bye. Oh, you know what I'm looking for? My little... Oh. <laughs> so oh, I got to do this.